I wonder if I could sell. He, pr The shop guy probably would not accept the Master Ball. It'd be cool if they gave it an exorbitant price, like $10 billion, and I could just have a lot of money. So I'd probably do that, because I do like money in this game, and I do hate it when I can't have any, but... Hyper mode! Well, it's gonna kill itself, slowly. Um, so... Really, I don't want this. I really should just attack this right off the bat. Okay, we're just gonna go right to Purr. Or I guess we can go to Mix-Up. We can get him to 70 once in... Okay, really? Can I not? Hey, there we go, Lag. You can do it. I believe in you. I believe in your ability to not ruin my entire life. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna Blaze Kick. Purple things set on fire, just like other colors of things. I am not pur purple uh, color biased, so... Here we go. Hooray! He'll never get to 70. And a Pidgeot. I will also burn Pigeon's life, unfortunately. I am not... I mean, his hair already looks kind of like it's fire flame colored, so he's probably fine with being set on fire. To me, that's just an invitation, really. I'm pretty sure he wants to be set on fire, which... It, yep. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. We're gonna pretend like I'm not advocating for setting animals on fire. Not really advocating for it. Just if they have fire-colored hair, then what? I have no idea. I really don't know. It's a little weird. Also, if Blubby... Actually, did Blubby die from that? I don't think he did. That's probably why I got double money. Yay! For double money. Um, okay, we're gonna... Hyper potion! Oh god, our team is... We got wrecked by that giraffe. That was that was one powerful zoo animal. Okay, uh, you go. I'm probably gonna revive anyone, um, or everyone. I mean, I mean, I think the town's actually right back there. But really, that's a lot of work to go all the way back to the town. <laughs> and I think this makes a lot more financial and physical sense just to spend hundreds of thousands of dollars healing my Pokemon 15 feet from the Pokemon Center. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. One day, Blubby will get to level 60. Not any day soon, probably not in this playthrough, but if I just, you know, leave him at a daycare for years and years, he might eventually... Okay, that's nothing. Anything over here? Probably not. Except for wild Pokemon. And that dude just stepped on my whale, which was not cool either. Hey, a Steelix! Okay, Blubby should be able to take care of this guy. Um, through the power of erosion. Will it happen, though? I don't know. Okay. My, yeah, my real question is just... Blubby's got a lot of health. He is, he looks like a tank. A lot of it's like really weak blubber though. A lot of it is not the strongest in the world. So we will see if that actually ends up. Uh, will you be hip? No, you're not hip, unfortunately. You did not make it all the way to the hip, the end of the hip meter, so. Your coolness factor's gone way down. There we go, perfect. Yup, Blubby could be 60 here if he gained a real amount of experience. That is not enough experience at all. Okay. Heading over here. I am going to have to spend... Is there a person down here? I am just walking in circles fighting wild Pokemon now, because this is all just dead ends. That's good. And fighting giant... body-armored rhinoceri. Okay. I believe in my ability. Water Spout, don't fail me this time. I believe you can get him in one hit. Or you can do... Yeah, okay. There we go. See, sometimes it just does no damage. You know, like, two out of three times it does zero damage, so uh, it's always nice when it actually does the amount of damage that it says it would. It's really nice when there's not false advertising in Pokemon. Okay, there's absolutely no one down here, so we're going to go up. Oh, my God. We're going to go up and then do nothing. Although, I thought there was nothing up. Maybe I should... I don't know. Like, I should probably throw down a Repel, but Blubby does need the experience. And as long as we're just fighting Pokemon, like, I don't really care. It's okay. I can live with it. Theoretically. Sand Slash can't live with it. Clearly, that was too much for him. He can't deal with me fighting wild Pokemon, but I can live with it personally, so. We are A-OK. -okay. Yeah, I fought this high. Oh, we go over there. I figured it out. I, oh my god. I figured it out, and all it took was 18 wild Pokemon battles. So that's really showing a lot for my intelligence. That's, it's good. Life is really not going terribly for me at all. Not two bits. Woo. Okay, awesome. My stomach was suppressed. It now feels terrible. Hey, it actually flinched for once. I mean, I'd flinch if a waterfall was on top of me, so I, I can see how the weird plant would flinch. 
Probably should get stronger, but I mean, yeah, flinching works too. Whatever you want to do, whatever floats your boat. Okay, let's get the fuck. Stop with the wild. Okay, I'm actually going to heal Blubby because I know he's going to die. Um, I'm going to heal up Blubby. There we go. If there's a Pokemon Center, which there probably will be in 10 seconds, I will feel like an idiot, but that happens a lot. Ah, I thought. The Rock? I think The Rock has come back for revenge, guys. Oh, that that dude who wasn't even... I heard Team Aku was sending an agent up the mountain to snag a weapon. Something to defend the king, I understand it. Archie's not exactly a battle himself, so there's nothing to battle for him. Probably battler, sort of. Cypher will attack Kingdom City, I admit. I eavesdropped on their plans. Even though the king has been missing for a month or more, Cypher fully expects him to be waiting in Kingdom Castle in his office. They intend to possess him as I... Under what? I don't remember this. Okay. Apparently, this plot is more in-depth. I, I knew it was in-depth, but they used the Black Orb. Of course, yeah, the Black Orb. Yep, mm -hmm. To rule the region from behind the throne? Quite the interesting strategy. I wonder if they will succeed. But of course they won't. When the king has trainers like you defending him, hmm? Then of course you'll have Shadow Rayquaza. You'll back quite the punch. Oh, will you? Can you really expect to control a weather god? I'm pretty sure this is one of those things where there's not this information, and then this dude assumes we know it, and thus teaches us the information. I think we will have a Shadow Rayquaza, though. Let's find out. I'm curious to see if you and your team have improved. Oh, it's... Hey, it's the uh, creator of the game. I guess that's why he was dropping the story plot hints, because, you know, he's the creator, and he's like, this is what is going on with the the thing. This is what you should probably... This is what's the story that I kind of explained to you before. This is what the actual story is. Just so you know. There you go. But what he never saw coming was a waterfall that would probably do not that much. He never expected his cat to drown in water. Uh, will I die from Psyshock? No! The all power from Blubby doesn't die from a mere Psyshock. He does have to use a Hyper Potion when fighting a cat, but that's because cats are really menacing and small, and it's hard to see them as a whale, really. With I should have used a different revive. That was dumb. I'm gonna have to revive him again. Or, I mean, heal him again. Bag. Uh, do I have a max potion? Full restore. There we go. Probably don't need to use this, but really, I'm never going to end up using them anyways, so might as well choose a full restore. Might as well use them while I have them. Unless this is a critical, this cat will be dead. Uh, that did way too much damage, and I'm kind of freaked out now. Can you not do another 160? Okay, no. Espeon doesn't care. He's going to deal more and more damage than before. He's like, eh, whatever. I mean, it says it does 20 damage. I'm going to do 400, because 400 sounds like a better number than 20. Because I'm a horrible person. And we're going to fight, and go Mega, and use Rock Slide. Mega Rocks are even better than normal Rocks. They're probably, like, one and a half times bigger. Not that you really need that large of Rocks to crush and defeat a small cat, but, you know... Interesting choice. I mean, I guess his defense is higher. Not really sure that's going to help that much when you're, you know, only five levels above me and at ten health. But, I mean, it's the valid choice, sort of. Not really. No, you're worth the worst Pokemon ever. Mysterious trainer Suzerain is about to send in a Swampert. I will change, yes. It's time for Bulbarap. Your mission has come to its final moments. All you have to do is defeat... The swamp with your solar beam. Solar beam. Okay, it's a mega swamper. That's good. I'm actually glad I used solar beam. I guess because it's a swamper. If he uses, okay. I'm taking in sunlight. He's. Oh, it knows earthquake. You know what? That was actually really good. So apparently, Swamper is Sap Sipper. So when I use Solar Beam, he sips Sap, whatever the hell that means, and uh, just kind of completely wrecks me. So that's unfortunate. All I can hope is that Purr can get off a bunch of Psychics that will take out Swamper before he can do anything. I am a oh, okay, that's not good. And Ice Punches can't be good either. Not terrible. As long as he doesn't use Earthquake. Hopefully the word has not spread through the rumor mill. Okay, Waterfall, really? Apparently that was good enough to kill him. Cool. Uh, hopefully word is not spread through the rumor mill about how my entire team get wrecked by an earthquake. Because I feel like you could train any basic hiker to just completely destroy me. Uh, we're going to use a Brave Bird. 
Unfortunately, I already used my Mega. Wait, did I? No, I didn't. Okay, so... Oh, fuck. I shouldn't have... I was probably talking way too loud. So I, the trainer heard me. Suzerain's like, oh, Earthquake. I didn't hear about that. Let me just use Earthquake. If you kill me... Please don't. No, no, no. You should stop, though. Just stop right there. Just stop. I hate having to plead with health. And I feel... This is this is terrible. Okay, I'm going to switch to Terror. I think I have a max revive left, actually. And all I really need is to... Um, let's go bag. I do, I do have a max revive. Good. We have one left, so might as well use it now. Uh, we're going to heal mix up all the way. Yay! I'm going to mix things up. I <laughs> get it? No. Is that not the joke I made at other times? You still don't get it? That's You should really work on that. Um, he's going to use Earthquake because he's a horrible, horrible person that no one loves. Pretty, pretty sure he's adopted, actually. Always good. And no one loves adopted people because, of course, of course they're horrible. Totally what I mean. Totally not kidding. If you were adopted, you should feel bad. Okay. So, mix-ups here. And I'm just really hoping Swampert does not pull out some sort of speed boost and then destroy Mixup. Mixup is the guy who ends up... Okay. Please. Please kill him. Yay! We got the Mega Guy! Woo! Now I'm just kind of worried about, you know, living. We are level 70, which is a pretty high level, so... Although we have to fight... Okay, Flygon. I'm just going to try to kill this. Please kick her! Oh, good. Never mind. No, I'm not going to try to kill it. I'm just going to do whatever. Yeah, we're going to heal. Oh, okay. That's not good. We're going to start doing the frantic, let's heal every Pokemon ever move, so we don't die to this thing. Um, I will try to catch it, too, but we're going to heal Purr. There we go. Obviously, Purr has the most solid defense out of all these, so that when Mixup dies... Okay, we should heal Mixup. 